Hello friends, welcome to my channel Indrani Cooks where I make cooking easy and fun feel. Uh, today um, I will be talking about dhoka. Uh, what is dhoka? Dhoka is a very authentic uh, dish from Bengali kitchen. So but I am not going to make dhoka as dhoka is made. I am just going to uh, put a little bit of variation into it. There are actually multiple variations of uh, dhoka. Um, many of my friends make dhoka in a different way. All of you must be knowing about that and you can check with my friends also in YouTube. But um, today I am going to make dhoka with cabbage. Uh, yes friends with cabbage so I'll show you all the recipe and the process step by step a uh, little bit of nitty gritty is there but um, the ultimate result uh, trust me friends going to be wonderful it's really a fabulous dish uh, so just let's try it here I have taken chana dal soaked for two to three hours and then I made a coarse paste out of it in the grinder so chana dal is very easily available in any of your local markets and departmental store. So this is the paste that I have made. And to this now I am going to add, I have taken one cup of chana dal. I will be taking one cup of finely chopped cabbage. This is the ratio 1 is to 1. Chili powder half a teaspoonful, half a teaspoonful of black pepper powder, a little bit of hing or asafoetida and here few raisins or kishmish I am adding uh, to this. Now I will be adding some more spices to it and give it a nice mix. First goes salt according to taste and a little bit of sugar. Don't avoid the sugar friends, give it a nice mix now. This will take hardly a minute or so and friends if you all like my recipe don't forget to smash the like button share with your friends those who will be interested in it and if you are new to my channel don't forget to press the subscribe button and at the same time the bell icon too. Here I will be heating a pan and add some oil to it just half a teaspoonful of oil is enough just to smear the pan and when the oil is hot I am adding a little bit of cumin seeds let the cumin seeds splutter and release all its aroma and now I will be adding the mixture of chana dal and cabbage to it and I will be frying it in low medium flame be careful friends low medium flame and fry till the rawness is totally removed and the paste comes out of your pan now you can understand that while frying don't make the flame too high or too low keep it in medium low on the lower side will be better now you can see friends that it has started coming out from the pan this is exactly what I wanted it took me four to five minutes but it depends upon the quantity and the flame you are using now here I have taken a greased pan a baking dish I have taken here you can take any any utensil of your choice and now I will be using my hands using my hands will always be better because it adds more love now press it very lightly not too much a uh, light press so that the oil bubbles or the air bubbles inside remains there now press it as I told very lightly and keep this in the freeze for at least half an hour now this is how it looks like now I will just take it out after half an hour keeping it in the freeze for half an hour I have taken it out just upside down it will come out very easily now cut it into the desired shape you want to I'll show you I have made pieces out of it just like small cakes and this I will deep fry I'll show you friends here heat some oil I have taken here mustard oil and when the oil is hot I will be covering this with some all-purpose flour coat it lightly with all-purpose flour you can use corn flour also but I prefer using all-purpose flour now fry it again in low medium flame 
not too high flame till they are golden in color now in the meantime i will be heating let them be fried i will be heating another pan i'll add 2 tablespoon full of mustard oil again and let the oil be heated to this i will be adding one medium sized potatoes cut into four and i'll fry them till they are golden in color you can use here parboiled potatoes also now let it be fried for 2 to 3 minutes or till they are golden i'll show you friends my cakes are also fried or the dhokas are fried they are golden in color now my potatoes are also ready i'll be taking them out from the oil and to the same oil i will be adding the tempering of garam masala a little bit of garam masala powder say 1/4 teaspoon full of now here goes a paste of tomato ginger and green chili i have used one medium sized tomato half a inch of ginger and two green chilies i'll add a little bit of water after washing the mixi jar turmeric powder cumin powder and coriander powder all one teaspoon full of each to this goes half a teaspoon full of kashmiri red chili powder salt according to your taste and give it a nice mix all the masalas all the spices should be mixed properly to this i will be adding a small piece of jaggery or gur instead of gur or jaggery you can add sugar also but don't avoid the sugar add a little bit of sugar to give the balance to your taste now fry it very nicely again in low flame so that the rawness goes away and the oil is released properly this also took me 5 minutes to this now add the potatoes mix the potatoes with the spice and now add the desired quantity of water and this should be a little bit of runny friends at this point of time it should be runny now i'll cover it and cook till the potatoes are softened or tender now it took me 12 minutes now it has started boiling vigorously and my potatoes are done and if you use here boiled potatoes then it will not take so much of time now add the dhoka or the dumplings one by one gently keep the flame medium now let this boil or simmer for 5 minutes add half a teaspoon full of clarified butter or ghee now i'll show you the consistency of the gravy friends you can understand that how runny it should be because this dumplings will soak some of your gravy so let the gravy be bit runny at this point of time now i'll show you friends see the gravy it's a bit runny now add two slit green chilies that's of course your choice your personal choice you can add it now cover it and keep it for 5 minutes standing time after the standing time your dish looks like this i'll show you friends after serving it so this is a must try dish you must try it friends and i will be waiting for your feedback be happy be merry catch you all soon again and don't forget to give a thumbs up share with your friends and those who are new please subscribe once again thanks for watching